crazy. Um, fetching hay in, so it's uh, seven o'clock in the evening, and the straw lorry came back a little while ago, so. I'm just nicking that now to go and pick up uh, hay bales with it. I can get um, I can get 60, 60 quadrants on this, so very useful bit of kit. The trouble is I have to go through my local village, which uh, has got weight limit on it, but I am doing agricultural work. Just got a commercial vehicle, that's all. Uh, we can shift some serious bales with this and uh, my old boy's helping as well he's got a 45 foot arctic trailer so we're going to have an evening's worth of carting uh, it's monday the 26th of june and uh, they tell me everything after wednesday is going to be a washout so and we've got showers coming in tomorrow tuesday so uh, I must admit it's very important that we get this bale today but this is our last bit on the ground 50 acre field we're in so this is our last bit that we've got cut I've got one more lot to cut which is with river meadows but we baled and carted 80 acres yesterday but crops about I should say about 40% maybe a bit more down on last year um, I was hoping to fill my shed up this year but I don't think that's going to happen Oh no, it's not going to happen. So Paul Jones here with an hour of rhythm and blues. But, Good evening. Uh, when I was uh, bikes I was everywhere. Old, but very young indeed. I <coughs> listened to the Amos Milburn version. But a few people have uh, had a bitch about my uh, filming of the straw stack like burning. And but, yet they have you know, a sleeve like an LP. And I. It isn't a total waste because um, I can. I, I will Amos spread Milburn the ash. Motion. Use it as quite ash on the ground, so it'll be used as a fertilizer, which is a, it's a very good fertilizer to be honest. They put ash, so uh, that's one good thing. Another thing is, if we left it there full of rats, there'd be rats everywhere, and they'd be going next door in other people's farms as well. So, to be honest with you, um, it was the best thing to do. Right. But well, I've um, seen a, well, at the suggestion of Leonard, you know, a couple of people yeah, that uh, said it's a bloody waste and it's illegal and this, that, and the other. And no, it's not illegal. You're allowed to burn bale straw. You're allowed, you are allowed to burn it. But the bales we took off the top of that stack were absolutely sodden. They were like muck. And to be honest with you, you couldn't have taken them anywhere because they would have overloaded the lorry you put them on. Because they weighed over half their quadrants and they weighed over half a ton and you couldn't have loaded them safely because they were like shite. Um, I had to move a lot of them with my muck bucket because I couldn't do it with spikes. So um, yeah, I do know what I'm doing. I have done it for 30, 40 years now so I have got an idea of what I've got to do. But what I am going to do next year, um, these um, AD plants, these new um, power plants that are coming in, there's one at Fetford that actually buys the bales off of you. You don't get a lot for them, but it would cover the haulage. It would cover the haulage and maybe a little bit more. Um, so I'm gonna see if we can't shift a few load off as we go through the winter for that. See if I can get that sorted. So, uh, I do deal with Anglian farmers, so Anglian farmer biomass. And uh, a chap who runs that said that he can get rid of some, so maybe it might not be such a big heat to burn next year. So, uh, yes. But I did actually get rid of the better stuff. Young man from um, North Wales, or yeah, somewhere, he was in Wales anyway. Oswald Street, that way. North Wales, isn't it? He, um, he took a fair few of them, like, you know, so we did sell, we sold what we could sell, and, um, you know, we used what we could for our own cattle, and what was left got burned, and now we're going to use what's left of that to muck the fields, well, not muck, fertilise part of the fields, we mix it in with a good bit of cow muck, 
and that will make a nice bit of potash. Nice bit of potash. Uh, so it's not a total waste and it clears up, gets rid of all the vermin. We, uh, I must admit we barbecued a few rats, so that's good. Uh, uh, they were living in there, so um, that's got rid of a lot of them. Um, yeah, so no, all round good job, but you must remember that I do know what I'm doing. <laughs> but there are new things coming out that you should take into consideration. Um, so you need to know, mu mushroom compost. They only want wheat straw, they don't want barley straw. So that was a mixture of wheat and barley in there, so that would have been no good for mushroom compost. But the AD plants probably would have took some of it if you can get it there. So uh, yeah, answer your questions, yeah, it wasn't a total waste. But I wish I hadn't have had to sell quite, burn quite so much. But if anybody wants to come and pull the strings out, I will throw it in my muck heap. You know, but I have tried that before though, but it just tends to dry out and go lumpy. So, uh, gravy lumps of straw in your muck, and then when you spread it, it chucks it out in the middle of your field and then it blocks your plough up. So, I must admit, I'm a little bit against that. Right, yes, we're on the Shefford Road heading up towards uh, Saleville and that way. Um, we're uh, going to go through the back there to get to where the straw fields are. The hay fields, I should say, not the straw fields. Been a bit premature there, there ain't no straw fields yet. But, not unless you know differently, of course. But, yeah, but everything's looking well, it's all, all good. And, uh, we're looking forward to a good season. I must admit, it's been pretty full on, um, along with the hay for the last two weeks but uh, if we get if we get sorted this tonight you know we will have uh, done okay personally but the yields are very very low they're, they're down 50 percent so i don't think a lot of people are saying there's going to be a lot of good hay about there ain't going to be a lot of good hay about because there weren't the hay on the fields so you can forget that idea there will be good hay, bloody good hay, but not a lot of it. Uh, all mine's top notch so far, so... Uh, we bailed a lot for other people as well. Gonna have to sit down and work some bills out and get some bills out. Earn a bit of money. Right, I'll turn you around for a minute so you look at my ugly mug all the time. You have a look at the road. Uh, my P Reg straw lorry, the white one. So uh, we're. Uh, I took the uh, W Reg one today over to uh, have the taco calibrated and the brake set and everything. So that's nearly roadworthy. That goes for its MOT this Friday. So then that will be on the road. So we'll have two of these little beasties got to do a bit of um, alteration to the uh, trailer. Draw bars sit in the front of the trailer a bit high so Big Steel and Steve's going to cut it out and uh, rate, drop it a little bit to 200mm and shorten the draw bar by about 400mm uh, so to get it where we want it to be. slow down these old car drivers we're on the country bumpkin roads now where all the country bumpkins are me being one of them there ain't so many country bumpkins now though there's a little little village called Southville pretty little place it is very nice Everybody takes care of their gardens. It all looks very lovely here. Looks like people give a shit. Yeah. So now we'll get that MOT this week, that uh, other lorry, and then um, 
see about sending it off to paint next week. See if we can't um, get that one colour. Because at the minute it's about six or seven different colours. So, so we'll get that painted up nice. I'll get some pictures of it when it comes back from its prep. Some pre MOT checks and everything, so make sure we're on the ball. Come on, love. Danny Barker, up through Willie Dixon, to very, very great repertoire of things. This is a nice straight road. It's uh, straight as a. What is it, a straight as? I don't know. It's a straight as something. I'm a bit tired. Seven o'clock, I've been doing since six this morning, so. I've done 13 hours, so. I think that is going to be an 18 hour day today, though. If I get this field of eight bales, get that in. The old legend's gonna be a happy little bunny, I tell ya. I wasn't expecting to get this field, to be honest with you. I thought we was gonna lose this to the weather. Some arsehole dumped a load of shit in the ditch there. I don't understand them. Why'd you bring your crap out into the countryside? It's a beautiful place, it's yours as well as ours. We just look after it for you. Bringing your shit out here. Take it to the tidy tip or dump it somewhere. Not in the countryside. Chuck it in a cul de sac in your town or something next door's back garden. Get out of the way, Mr. Pheasant. But it has been some bloody hot weather, hasn't it? They got me sweating. Well, I had to have, well, I had to have a shower a sodding day. I tell you what, a waste of water, eh? Oh dear. Oh, I think we've got a bit of air there. That is a bit of a bumpy one. Who's cracking That radio, that's um, not my choice of music. That was uh, Nick's. It was just on. I won't be able to monetize this now. We've got music on it and I'll get in bubble. Hey, uh, see these are the sort of cyclists I like. Look, he's out for an evening ride on his old bike. Oh, here comes a cop the other way. Fucking hell. I just got bloody stabbed by a bloody great tree. Shit. That ain't done the job much good. Woo. Bugger. Ouch. Bugger. No, I didn't knock the mirrors off, but it ain't done. Holy moly, mother of God. Pulled all my window rubber off, it has. Oh, Lord. Oh, I think it's just pulled it off. Bugger, that was lucky. I thought I was going to get that in the head. Saw that out when I get out of the field. Big old lump of wood sticking out of the flaming wind out the out the edge. There's I felt like one of those there nights of the round table being jo jo jousted at. I did. I thought I was doing some jousting then. I did. I'm babbling anyway. <laughs> oh bugger! Leave it alone. Get me going, John. Let's sort it out. Okay. Talking to myself now. The only problem with these back roads. Where was I? I've lost my train of thought now. Turn right here and head the other direction. 
They really need to slow down on these back roads. They're coming at you like maniacs. I'm only doing 30. Down the bottom there. 